and welcome to another episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Steel Reserve. I'm Special K. Tonight we're going to be doing another Duclaw beer. We have Dirty Little Freak. It is 5.8% alcohol by volume. It is a toasted coconut and caramel brown ale. That sounds delicious. That it does. You don't see coconut use very often in beer. No, you don't. Caramel, really yeah, but not coconut's not something you see very often. Duclaw's We've had the, on the show, we've done their peanut butter. You've had the peanut butter before. You've had some of it. Uh, Fuzzy had some when we went to uh, uh, Jungle Gyms. And then uh, Radar and I did the Quick Start in My Heart, which is strawberry stout. Strawberry milk stout. That sounds delicious. Yeah, it was pretty good. Ooh, you can you get the coconut in there for sure. Um, light hints of coconut, caramel, chocolate. The coconut really mellows it out. A little malty. Uh, carbonation is light to medium. It's like a, a tea color, like a black tea. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it that. It smells delicious. It does, doesn't it? It almost smells like a brownie. Yeah. Shall we? Of course. Oh. That's nice. That it is. It, and you don't really get any coconut right towards the end. It just leaves a little bit of a coconut, like you ate a piece of coconut in the back of your mouth. It's good. Starts out with a nice little bit of a hoppy bite, not not overpowering or anything. Gets nice and caramel and roasty malts, and then it leaves just a touch of coconut on the back in there. If you're a fan of coconut, then you're gonna like this. Now, a lot of people don't like coconut. What Which I, I don't I don't understand. It's a it's a good it's good. It is, and even if you're not a huge fan of coconut, it's it's subtle. It's right towards the back yeah. end. I don't think it's it's not overpowering. It's not the prominent flavor in this beer. It's just. It just leaves a nice finish. It smooths the beer out, I think. It does. And it does a great job at it. Mm -hmm. Definitely a unique brown ale. Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm going to... Mouthfeel's probably what you say, light. Yeah, light. Not, not watery, but light, definitely. Man. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to give this a 7.8. 7.8. We're going with 8. Come on, Solid bro. Eight. You're making it difficult. Solid go, eight. Going with the eight. That's fair. Solid eight. Like I was gonna go with seven point five, but then that eight was like, nah, man, nah. So eight. Don't wanna make it difficult. Uh, I have to agree with you on that. I think an eight is a good solid score for this beer. It's really good. Uh, actually, actually going to great. It's um, it's unique in the coconut aspect of it. Um, I would definitely uh, recommend uh, trying it at least once if you're a fan of coconut. If you're not, then you may want to avoid it. Um, well, maybe if you know you're not, you're okay with coconut. It's not your favorite, but you know, like if it's on a candy bar, you'll eat it. You know, if it's on the cookies, you'll eat it. Then yeah, you'd still like this. Yeah, it's nice but, and subtle. You know, no, if you don't like coconut, probably not, bro. Um, this I would recommend getting this if you can get this with some of the other Duclaw beers, because uh, you know they have the we talked about the Quick Start My Heart and the Sweet Baby Jesus peanut butter style. Sweet Baby Jesus. Um, I think these would all be um, great in like a sampler if they had like a six pack of two each or something would be great. Oh yeah. Um, I would recommend it, but yeah, I recommend trying this at least once if you're into coconut. Hey, you'll enjoy it. All right. Well. That's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.